All right, everyone. Big day today. Yay. We're uh, welcome to our video for touring around Highlands County. So what this video is not going to be is like a stop at Hammock State Park and all those touristy type things. We're gonna show you what the locals do or where the locals go. Now they, yeah, probably they still go to those state parks and stuff, but that's not our thing. We're not, we're not big state park people. We went to the Mayaka River last week <laughs> and that wasn't really our thing, was it? No, no. We're not, we're just not state parky type people. But we like to go eat good food. Obviously we like to eat good food. Mm -hmm. yeah, and we like to go see interesting things. So we're gonna take you around and show you some of our normal stops when we lived in Sebring and went around Highlands County. But first, 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 we're going to the dentist. Oh, yes. you got the doggy stuff? Yes, I do. And we gotta go to the vet and drop off. Doggy deposits. Doggy deposits <laughs> for ana for analysis. Yes. So, um, one of the other things I wanna share, cause you know, it's very important as full-time RVers, uh, and we haven't really had a chance to talk about this yet, Missy. What's that? Do you know what I'm gonna talk about? No. You, well, just popped in my mind now, so you wouldn't know. Anyway, so one of the things that full-time RVers, which is very critical, important to have, is a home base. Yeah. So we try to make our home base up in Bushnell. Yeah. Because we have an escapees membership, and that's where escapees makes their, you know, their central place for Florida. Right? When you when you become an escape, we can't talk right now. When you become an escapees member, you're kind of home base is bush now because that's where their park is right yeah but for us it never we didn't we didn't know anybody there no so we had to go find a new doctor which was a disaster for us uh, you know new dentists new new everything right new vets new everything right so we decided when we came down to arcadia since arcadia is close to sebring we would just put sebring back as our home base Plus we're here for three months and, and we're here we're and booked for next year and for three months and maybe longer depending on what the price of fuel does yeah. you know if fuel goes sky high we probably won't be moving much this year and we may have to reevaluate our trip out west this year and if, oh, if we could go out east if diesel is the five or six dollars <laughs> a gallon we ain't moving very far you know what oh, i mean okay she doesn't understand the price of gas. I do, but going out east isn't as far as going out Very, west. very true. So we may <laughs> we may have to, anyway, we'll have to wait and see yes. what happens there. Um, Because at the time of this recording, there's a lot of conflict in the world and uncertainty about the price of fuel. Anyway, where, where was I? Things going up in Canada. Where was I? Where was I, where was I what, before we you got? Were, you were. This is what happens all the time, folks. She says something and... <laughs> throws me off track. Um, you were talking about yes. gas prices. No, I was talking about central location. Yes. So this is why you need to have a central location. So obviously we have doctors in Sebring, our vets in Sebring, our doggies like the vet in Sebring. I love that vet and we Sebring. And we love the vet He's in Sebring. Great. Missy is, has never been to my dentist, but I go to this dentist in Sebring every year. He's great. I call him the digital dentist because he's got a lot of digital gadgets in his, uh, I'll put a link in the below to Dr. Wiley's office. He's great. If you're in the Sebring area, you need a dentist. Um, yeah, everything that we're used to is in Highlands County in this area. So, well, we know the area really well too. What did you not understand when I said everything that we're used to is in the area? <laughs> well, I'm just saying, we know the area. We know where the good butcher is. We know, that's, we, we that's know right. where everything is. And we're going to show you that today in this video. Our video of going to Aldi's. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to talk. <laughs> this video is turning into a, another trip to Aldi's. Oh my gosh. Okay, I won't say a word. Oh no, you're welcome, welcome oh, to say a word. Dear. Oh my goodness. All right, anyway, we're on our way to Sebring for uh, my dentist appointment, and then we've got to go drop the doggy poop off at the vets, and then we'll take you around and show you what's the we'll cool. Go for breakfast. Yes, we'll go for breakfast. We'll We'll go to Faded, we'll go to, we'll drive by, we'll drive by my main, well Faded doesn't open for lunch, so we'll have to have a, like a light breakfast and go for lunch at Faded. Okay. So we might as well use those points up. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to stop recording now because this video will go on well, forever. Well, if you haven't been to Faded, you should go because Faded is probably the prettiest place in, in Sebring that you can go to for lunch or dinner. All right, so we're standing outside Lakeside Dental Arts here in Sebring. Dr. Wiley, he wasn't in today, I didn't get to see him. No. Had his uh, 
new guy. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, great, great dental office. You know how much I talk about maintenance, right? When maintenance, when it comes to the RV, maintenance on the cars. Don't forget maintenance on your mouth. And body. And body, because uh, yeah, my dental appointment didn't go as well as I hoped because I haven't seen them in about a year. And I got the tongue lashing too from the dental hygienist. For what? Because I don't floss enough. Oh. So yeah, make sure you maintain your mouth just as much as you maintain your RV now, folks. And Missy even booked an appointment. So now I gotta come back here in a couple weeks for cavities. I had a cavity. Okay. And they're gonna replace one of my old fillings. Okay. So yeah, maintain, maintain your mouth. Very, very important. But you gotta check out the view that he has at his office. It's awesome. So there you have it. We've finished at the dentist. Now we're going to our next exciting, cool place in Sebring. And sorry about the shaking, I'm walking. And I forgot my little gimbal stick uh, today. So we're going to another interesting place here in Sebring or in Highlands County for you to check out. Look at the size of this baby. I'll tell you, Missy, Steve's does a heck of a job with their omelets. Mm -hmm. And and check that real soft bacon right there. Yes. That's the way soft bacon should be done. Uh-huh. Good. Good? Mm-hmm. All right, so remember I talked about maintenance and all you gotta do with your RV and your now I talked about your teeth. The other thing you gotta do is maintain your body he healthy eating. Yes. So uh Missy and I are gonna go and share this with everybody. We're starting keto again. <laughs> Rebooting keto again today. So for our, what, fifth, sixth time? I don't know. Anyway, just had breakfast at Dee's place here in Sebring. Uh, the best place to stop, period, for breakfast uh, in Highlands County. So if you're looking for a good breakfast place, come to Dee's. Uh, can't uh, give them shout outs enough. They're yeah. pretty good. They have country we, fresh farming. And we showed that in another video of ours. Uh, uh, a few weeks ago or maybe a week ago or so when we, when we first got to uh, back to Sebring and came here for breakfast. Yeah. So maintain your RV, maintain your yappers, maintain your body by putting good food into it. So if you're in Highlands County, come to D's for breakfast. And we're probably going to stop at one or two other of our favorite uh, food places here in Highlands County. Yes. Some you sit down to eat in it and some that you buy stuff at and take it home. Yeah. But that mystery will be solved soon. Dee's Place here on North Ridgewood. Come here for breakfast if you're in Highlands County. The area of here in Sebring that Missy and I used to come to quite a bit was this area behind one of the shopping malls here. Um, you can see that there's a lot of food dishes over here. And there used to be a feral cat colony here. But I don't see any cats today, Missy. I'm sure they're here. They're probably just sleeping because it's so hot. Yeah. And plus, we didn't bring food, so. Yeah, I don't see. I don't. Money. I don't see any in there right now. Here behind this mall, there's a, a Goodwill, uh, Pet Store, Homer's, uh, Smorgasbord's down there. Uh, here behind on uh, on just off US 27 here in Sebring, and uh, yeah, we never saw feral cat colonies until we moved to Florida. Of course, in Canada, they would never survive because it'd just be so cold uh, in the winter. But uh, yeah, there you can see here that uh, there's a lot of trash. Kind of sad, but I'm not. Yeah, I don't see. I don't see any cats today. I'm not sure where they may if they're even still here, where they're at, what they're doing. I guess because we don't have food, so they're not coming running. Yeah. At one time, Missy, there was you had tens, if not hundreds, of cats in here. Oh God, yeah. And you would see them all the time like in this bush you would see them even during the middle of the day well usually too you would bring food and as soon as you like poured it into the containers they would come running but yeah. uh i don't see any today i do not either i don't know if it's hot. all right on the topic of maintenance today missy yeah. all of our topic is on maintenance the other thing we're doing is we're getting a car wash uh -huh. you got to make sure you keep your car clean now look at the back of our car it's not that clean and we got garbage all over the place but you gotta make sure you keep the car clean regularly yeah. i think that's uh you know we i think we understand that right uh -huh. so we're going through the car wash here love bugs in sebring to get a car wash 
So, Missy, remember my tip? Remember my tip from car washes? I shared it with our, when we were in, um, we're going through a car wash somewhere else. Uh, after we had dinner with Tom Campbell. That's right, we were in Ohio, right? Yeah. So, always buy the cheap car wash. Mm -hmm. Just don't even bother getting the higher price one. Always get the cheapest one they have. You get pretty much the same thing. You get all the little twirly things and yeah. sponges and stuff. Here's the other thing. Always seem to get, if you need to get a car wash, get gas. Yeah. So we just saved 30 cents a gallon by getting gas at the Sunoco and getting a car wash. Yeah. So get gas and buy the cheap one. That's my money saving tip. <laughs> but get your maintenance done and make sure you keep your car clean. Hey, uh, Eric, the nomadic fanatic. That, what, what do we see there? We see a Bush beer truck. I know how much you're a big fan of Bush beer now, so I thought we'd show that Bush beer truck for you. All right, everyone. I'm standing out front of the Blue Lagoon Saloon here in Sebring on just off US 27. Talking about places to go. Now, the jury's out if this is good or not. I seem to like it sometimes. Missy absolutely doesn't like it at all. But they have some good chicken wings, but it's hit and miss the last time we were there. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. But this was one of the first places that we went to when we first came to Sebring, the Blue Lagoon Saloon here on US 27. If you're in Sebring, come and check it out. You know, they do have some half decent wings. Um, they got a pretty generic menu other than that. But, uh, and beer, you can't really screw up beer, can you? So uh, the Blue Lagoon Saloon, come and check it out if you're in Sebring. All right, so it's stop, stop number two. Stop number two on our, uh, no, not stop number two, stop whatever number on our day in Highlands County. We're at Aldi. Now, if you guys don't know what Aldi is, it's a great grocery store. The only problem with both Aldi and being a full-time RVer, they're not everywhere. No. That's the biggest challenge. I think if you, uh, I'll put right here if I can. Do they need more than two? I don't know. I'll put right here if I can, our video when Missy and I were driving to Aldi in St. Augustine. Okay. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out because it was a good comedy show. Anyway, we're here at Aldi in Sebring. We're gonna go get some groceries. Missy, what did you uh, call us when we came to Aldi in St. Augustine? It was the, what kind of people come here? <laughs> the granola. Granola, yeah. We're back to being granola people. So, uh, all right, we're going into Aldi now. Okay, one of the things I like about Aldi is this beer right here. If you get this beer, it's awesome. But since I'm doing keto again, I can't drink that, so I'll have to skip it today. So the other thing we've noticed, Missy, with um, with Aldi, mm -hmm. even though the prices of everything have gone up everywhere, all these are still fairly inexpensive yeah. by, by way of comparison to other places. You can still get some good deals here. So, uh, yeah, I just wish there were more, every, wish there were ever, more places instead of just sporadically. Placed. But oh well, that's the way it is. All right, so we just finished our shopping haul. Hundred bucks at Aldi. Got some good stuff. Their pop, like I mentioned, their pop here is awesome. Well, we call it pop. It's really seltzer water. We call it pop. And uh, some good food. So we're going to go and uh, load up the car and uh, head to our next stop here in Sebring. All right, everyone. We're at another one of our favorite stops here in Highlands County in Sebring. We're at Faded, and Faded is a cool little uh, bistro on North Ridgewood, just outside of the Circle area. And one of the cool things about uh, this place, Missy, did you did you know this? Yeah. Here's a did you know. We haven't done a did you know in a while. No. Did you know? Did you know this, Missy? Did you know? Yes. You said it like five times. That yes. Faded allow people to park their rigs in their parking lot. Yes, they do. I don't know if it's part of Harvest Host. Boondockers, Boondockers or one of the programs, but uh, yeah, you can park rigs. And here today, there's a Dutch Star uh -huh. and a fifth wheel parked here. So uh, yeah, I knew you, I knew you could bring rigs here. But I didn't know what the program there. Bob mentioned Bob, the owner of Fade, mentioned yeah. to us one time who they're affiliated with. But yeah, there uh, looks like you can get a tag axle uh, Class A in here, which is good for us. Yeah. So let's go have some lunch. So we just ran into Bob 
Bob told us they're part of Harvest Host, Missy. Yep. So yeah, if you're a Harvest Host member, I definitely recommend you uh, come here. Great food, great, great selection of liquor and beer, but even better food and better ambience. And we'll show you some of the ambience of Faded here as uh, we enjoy our lunch. Or Missy and I, uh, are we VIP members? I uh, technically yeah. feel we are, right? Because yeah. we used to eat here a lot mm -hmm. when we lived here. But uh, we got to use up our points today. So, uh, yeah, well, I'll show you some of the scenes of uh, sights and scenes and uh, some of the little hideaway places here at Faded. Yeah, one of the cool things about Faded is this little area back here. We spent many of the nights sitting here, smoking cigars, drinking scotch or bourbon, and just, uh, yeah, just let the time go by. It was amazing uh, back here, especially in a nice warm summer evening or in like day, day like this when it's not too hot and just sitting there in the shade, it's great. We have this boardwalk that uh, leads up from the restaurant through to uh, to the back area there. And there's another area back here, I'm not getting too close with people sitting out there. But that area back there, we used to sit and smoke cigars and drink scotch and bourbon here too. All right, well, lunch is done at Faded. Missy, what do you think of uh, lunch at Faded? I had the uh, turkey cranberry salad. It's something I always, I had there quite a bit and it's still just as good. I had the uh, burger, cheese, uh, blue cheese burger with no bun. Mm -hmm. Staying close to that keto stuff that we got to do. And uh, we ended, we ended up having enough points that it paid for all of lunch. And, and we still have $20 left over. Yeah, we'll have to come back again. So we're gonna have to come back again before we leave. All right, we're heading, uh, we got one more very important stop and then back to the coach to see the doggies. All right, we're here for our last stop on our tour of Highlands County. We're in beautiful Lake Placid. It's 88 degrees today, Missy. Yeah. Here in Lake Placid, beautiful. And we're at the world famous Herzl's Meat Shop in Lake Placid. So we've been coming here for a while. We love yes. it. We love it here. Best tenderloin. Best pork chops. Best pork chops. Best overall almost everything. Yeah. So let's go inside and uh, let's get some meat. All right, Missy, we're done now running around. I'm exhausted. Yes, okay. me too, I know. Need to have a nap. Anyway, we're heading back to the RV. Go check on the puppies. Maybe have a nap. Yes. It is Friday afternoon after all. And we have a call tonight. We have a work, <laughs> we have a work call 8.30 with Brad. So we have to uh, get refreshed for that. Yes. So we're gonna head back. We're gonna sign off for this uh, ed version edition session whatever you want to call it of three dogs in an rv uh we're gonna we're gonna come back to lake placid and do more of a tour around lake mm -hmm. placid uh and we did the, so this is primarily sebring we're gonna come back to lake placid although we're in lake placid right now we're gonna come back here right <laughs> yeah yeah anyway so i'm i'm tired yes thanks for tuning in everyone to three dogs in rv i'm stuart missy and we'll see you in the next uh next edition of three dogs in an rv see you later right. everyone